Most traders believe a green volume bar means buyers are strong and a red bar means sellers are in control. Sounds simple, right? But that logic is flawed. If volume is just about color, why do so many trades go wrong even when volume looks strong? In this video, we're going to uncover the truth about volume, what it really tells you, and how to use it the right way to avoid traps, confirm trends, and find powerful entries. You'll learn what volume actually shows and what it doesn't, how to detect smart money activity, three proven strategies using volume, the number one mistake traders make with volume bars. By the end of this video, you'll never see volume the same way again. Before we move forward, if you like this content and haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit like and subscribe to support the channel. Let's start with the basics. What even is the volume indicator? Volume tells us how many trades were executed during a candle. It shows how active the market was, whether people were buying or selling, but it doesn't tell you who was stronger. A green volume bar shows up when the candle closes higher. A red bar appears when the candle closes lower. But here's the catch. That doesn't mean all trades were buys or sells. Every trade has both a buyer and a seller. Volume equals activity, not direction. So when you see a tall green volume bar under a green candle, it doesn't always mean buyers are in control. Let me show you a failed breakout. Green candle, high volume. Next candle, complete rejection. Volume is a flashlight, not a crystal ball. Now let's go deeper with a concept pro traders use, effort versus result. Effort is how much volume was traded, result is how far the price moved. Look at this example, big volume bar, but the candle body is tiny. That's a warning, someone tried to push the market, but failed. Smart money might be absorbing that move. Now check this chart. Big green candle, high volume, but the candle has a long upper wick, and the next one reverses. It looked bullish, but it wasn't. Smart money sold into retail buying. Big volume doesn't always mean strong move. Now flip the script, a big price move. But on low volume, that's also weak. Could be a fake breakout. So remember, volume must match the move. Big effort, small result is a trap. Big result, low effort is a fake out. Now move on to strategy number one, volume plus support resistance breakout. This is one of the cleanest volume strategies, breakout with volume confirmation. Step one, identify a strong support or resistance zone. Step two, wait for a breakout candle to close above the zone with strong volume. Step three, enter the trade after the candle closes. Stop loss, just below the breakout zone, take profit, two times your stop loss. If there's no volume, skip the trade. Breakouts without volume often fail. No volume means no conviction. Strategy number two, volume dry up plus breakout explosion. Here's one of my favorite setups. When the market goes quiet, then explodes. Step one, identify a tight range where price is moving sideways. Volume is drying up. No interest, no momentum. Step two, wait for the sudden breakout with a big volume spike. Step three, enter after the breakout candle closes. Stop loss goes below the range. Target, two to three times your risk. But if volume doesn't spike, don't enter. A breakout without power is a trap. Volume confirms the explosion. Strategy number three, volume profile strategy, precision entries, and smart exits. Now let's go deeper into volume profile, a tool that shows how much volume was traded at each price level, instead of just by candle. This helps us see where big traders and smart money were active, and where price is likely to react again. Let's break it down. First, some key concepts. Point of control, or POC, is the price level with the most volume traded. This is often where big money entered positions. And price tends to gravitate back to this level. Then we have the value area, the zone where 70% of all trading happened. It's where the market agrees on fair value, and where institutional players quietly build their positions. And finally, low volume nodes. These are areas with little interest from big players. Price usually moves through them quickly, like air. These zones help you find powerful entries, safer stop losses, and more accurate exits by following what big money left behind on the chart. Now let's build the strategy step by step. Step one, use the fixed range volume profile. On trading view, select it and drag it across a clear price range. You'll see where the most volume occurred, where buyers and sellers, especially large players, were most active. Step two, 
trade off the edges. You want to enter near the edges of the value area, not in the middle. Here's a simple example. Buy near the value area low, place your stop just below it, and target the point of control, or the value area high. This is where big traders tend to defend their positions, giving you a solid risk reward setup. Step three, watch for LVN zones. Low volume areas are like air. When price enters, it often moves fast and clean. You can use these zones as take profit levels or trail your stop once price breaks through. Now, here's a powerful setup. It's called the POC flip. Here's how it works. Price breaks above the point of control and then comes back down to retest it. If volume confirms and the retest holds, you enter on the bounce. Stop goes below the POC. Target is the next high volume zone or value area high. This setup is used by pro traders and funds because it gives tight control over risk with high reward potential. Just remember, don't trade in the middle of the value area trade from the edge or the flip. That's where smart money operates. Volume profile gives you sniper level entries and smart exits because it shows you what big money did even after they're gone. Once you get comfortable with this tool, you'll stop guessing and start trading with real confidence. Let's wrap it up. Here's what you've learned. Volume shows how active the market is, not who's in control. Always compare volume with price movement. Use volume to confirm, not chase, breakouts. Volume profile reveals key zones for precision trades. Now, the mistakes to avoid, trusting volume bar colors blindly, trading breakouts without volume, ignoring price reactions after a volume spike, skipping volume profile in range-bound markets. Volume is the voice of the market. Learn to listen, and you'll trade with confidence. This is trading data. And now, you know the real power of volume. See you in the next one. This video is for educational purposes only. I am not a financial advisor. The charts used in this video were created on tradingview.com. Please do your own research before making any trading decisions.